Hello everyone. Iran's nationwide uprising marked its 117th day on Tuesday with protests continuing in various forms as people relentlessly took to the streets, held anti-regime rallies, and targeted the regime sites and symbols. On Tuesday, official and contract workers of the Mobin Petrochemical Company in the city of Asaluye, Boucher province in southern Iran, went on a strike today, demanding answers to their issues that have gone neglected for a long time. In Tehran, they frauded investors of the Ramak Khodro Auto Company held a rally to demand the return of their stolen investments. Also in Tehran, the students of Allame Tabatabai University held a gathering today to protest the intense security measures imposed on their campus. Several members of the MEK affiliated resistance units marched in Tehran on broad daylight and chanted, poverty, corruption, high prices, we're going to overthrow the regime. Death to Khamenei, hail to Rajavi. This is the year Sayyid Ali Khamenei is overthrown. Death to the oppressor, be it the Shah or Khamenei. We swear on the blood of our compatriots, we are standing to the end. And this is the last message. More executions mean more uprisings. In the Dasht southwest Iran, locals set ablaze a base of the IRGC's passage units. In Kerman, south central Iran, locals torched a poster of the eliminated IRGC Ghost Force chief Qasem Soleimani installed near a paramilitary besiege base. In Abdanan, Ilam province, western Iran, locals torched a base of the regime's IRGC paramilitary besieged unit. In Jam, Boucher province, southern Iran, locals used Molotov cocktails and torched a large poster of regime supreme leader Ali Khamenei. In another development today in Brussels, the International Committee in Search of Justice held a news conference rolling out a new book entitled Iran's Democratic Revolution. Dr. Alejo Vidal Cuadras, ISJ's president and vice president of the European Parliament until 2014, Ingrid Betancourt, former Colombian senator and presidential candidate, and former MEP Estrona Stevenson, who wrote three chapters of the book, addressed the conference. Former MEP from the socialist group, Paolo Casaca, moderated the event. Thank you very much for watching.